Hello there guys, welcome back to another c -sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will uh, start practicing with arrays. Uh, okay, and now things will be more interesting, okay, we will have more practice, and the most of the focus will be on algorithms. So what are we going to do today is something very simple. Uh, we are going to work with arrays in order to see how we could uh, let's say um, finding the maximum and minimum values so I'm gonna hit OK over here okay so we have this code uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is create functions uh, not for uh, calculating max or min but a number of general functions that we will need again and again and again so we don't have to repeat things and we will update this project as time goes on so uh, basically when you have an array uh, we are going to work with integers in this case uh, one of the common tasks uh, would be uh, reading the array and the second one is uh, displaying the array so we will create a function because we have uh, learned how to make functions previously uh, we'll create a function that will uh, fill our array for us okay so here we have static oops static void uh, read array and now I'm gonna say here int uh, I'm gonna say numbers and count okay so uh, what are we gonna do here I'm gonna say for int i equals 0 i smaller than uh, count i plus a plus okay so far so good and now well actually we could make this a little bit different so here I'm going to say numbers.length there we go so we have numbers.length uh, this is a property within the array and you could use that in order to know how many elements can an array store so in this case we're going to display a message so system.console.write enter uh, uh, a number and uh, here I can say plus i dot to string because we want to know which number we are entering or which cell we are accessing within that array and finally uh, we are going to say numbers oops of i equal int dot parse system Console read line. Okay, and that's it. Uh, we have to wait a second. I, I forgot these two brackets. This should solve it. Okay, so now we want to test that. Okay, uh, well, before that, we, we will create another method that will display the numbers. So static void. Uh, display or maybe print array print array int numbers there we go and for int i equals zero i small than numbers dot name and i plus plus so far this is the same code we have used every time so what are we gonna do we're gonna say system council right line uh, uh, number i dot to string followed by what numbers of i move this a little bit okay uh, dot to string okay here's the value here that's wonderful uh, semicolon uh, obviously I forgot to put yeah, this one here okay so this will loop and print all the elements. So what are we gonna do next? We're gonna define this int uh, uh, v 
to a new int of let's say five numbers only. Uh, so I'm gonna say read array, read array, and I will pass v over here, and then I'm gonna say print array. I'll pass v again, and then we have system console read line, just to keep the window open. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let us try and see if this one works. Okay, so the first element I'm gonna say one, two, three, and four, and five, and you can see one, two, three, four, five. Now one of the things you might have noticed here is well, uh, if you remember our previous tutorials about uh, functions, we said that variables are not the same uh, here. For example, we are, when we are sending number here, we are sending v here. If you make a change over here, it will not affect v here. However, uh, we see we can see in arrays it happens. The reason for that is uh, arrays are passed by reference. So even if you don't use the ref keyword over here, uh, any change on the array will affect the original one. Okay, so if you want to make a copy, you will have to make, uh, if you want to, let's say, make changes on the array here inside, inside this function, you have to make a copy in order not to affect the original array. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we have finished this code. Let us see how we can calculate the maximum of the array. So, uh, first let us discuss this thing over here. Uh, if someone gets you a set of eggs and asks you to, to find the maximum egg, what are you going to do? Well, what happens usually is that you will compare two eggs and pick the, the bigger one uh, and then compare that one with the next egg with the next egg and every time you find a bigger egg you will change your choice you would say first the first egg is the biggest you might then say the third is the biggest because the second wasn't as big uh, and so on and so you will scan all the eggs until you end up with the biggest one okay each time you find a bigger egg you will update uh, the location you will remember and say that uh, uh, the location of the biggest egg is let's say fourth or fifth or something like that so we're gonna follow a similar technique so static int max uh, max in array I'm gonna call it here int numbers so what are we gonna do here now uh, we are going to say int max equal numbers of zero. You might be wondering why we are doing this. Well, basically here what we are saying is that we are assuming the first number is the biggest number. Okay? And next we will make a loop for int i. We could start it from zero again, but since we already we have already checked the first element, so we can now start from one i smaller than numbers dot length and i plus plus so if max is smaller than numbers of uh, i then max equal numbers of i okay so and finally we will return max so what's happening here let's say you enter the numbers or the values 8 1 12 8, uh, 30, 12, 1, 1. Okay, let's assume for the sake of example is that you have these numbers here. Okay, so what's the value of max? Well, when this uh, statement gets executed, you will have what? Your max is 8. Then I will start uh, moving uh, from 1 to the last element. So what happens is you will check max which is 8 with numbers of what 
uh, of i i starts from 1 so check 8 with 1 you'll find that this condition fails so this part does not execute so i increases so we will check 8 now with 12 now you check this condition and you'll find that well it's being satisfied so you update max so you overwrite 8 by 12 and next i increases you will check 12 this 12 with 8 you will find the condition does not satisfy you increase i and you will check 12 with 30 okay so you will execute this statement because this condition is satisfied this time so it's 30 and you continue so on so as you can see in order to find the max the computer doesn't know the max what's happening is that the computer now is scanning and progressively figuring the maximum possible number okay with each step the computer is uh, you know figuring out the maximum value okay uh, so let us just try and see if this one works uh, I'm gonna say system console right line uh, I will remove this part uh, the max value is now I will call the function directly I will not store the, the maximum in an integer and then display it here I will call it in just single statement so I will say max in array I will pass v over here and I will say dot to string and I can do that because this function returns an integer and an integer with an integer you could say dot to string right so this I, this is what I am doing I am dealing with the return of uh, returns result of this function okay so then don't get confused with it this is not difficult okay uh, yeah so let us tr try this out I'm gonna say one two three four five so max value is 5 let us try something different so I'm going to say 8 1 99 22 blah, 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 blah. okay as you can see the maximum value is here so let us try one last time so I'm going to say minus 1 22 0 45 uh, I'm going to say 2 1 so it figured out that 45 is the maximum value so as you can see here <coughs> uh, this is uh, you know in many problems you will have to do scanning of the array by scanning I mean you have to go through each element in the array in order to figure out what is the maximum value for example what is the minimum value or to find specific elements based on specific properties usually usually the scanning process is related to search in this case we are searching for the maximum number if you are searching for the minimum number you will have to do a scan but change the condition if you are searching for a specific value you'll have to do a scan okay so this is this is uh, the scanning technique which is you, you know using a for loop and accessing each element in the array uh, is related to search it's, uh, in general it's related to search not all the case but in many cases uh, you will have to do a scan so um, that's all for our tutorial today uh, I hope you'll find it useful and uh, see you in another tutorial thanks for watching and have a nice day